it was actually pretty cool, the story. I've told this story quite a bit. Um, so I'm six out of seven kids. So I had three older brothers. So I had a lot of, you know, good examples about, you know, going on missions. And I remember when we took my oldest brother to the MTC. And back then, that's when you could, you know, go into the MTC. And they had this little program going. And you got to sit down. It was super emotional. <laughs> and I remember sitting there or even, like, walking through. And I was thinking I had been here before. I was like, this looks really familiar. And I was like eight years old, seven, eight, maybe nine in between. I can't remember exactly. So I was really little and I just felt like I had been there. And I remember sitting down and watching that movie and like the music coming on, like called to serve him. And I just think, and I just remember thinking like, I'm going to be a missionary. I'm going to be one of them someday. And it was the strongest, like spiritual experience I think I had when I was little, one of them. And then I just had kept that feeling. And every time I went back with each of my brothers, I had that feeling again of like, I'm going to be here. I'm like, I'm going to be one of those missionaries and it's going to be so amazing. And it was hard like through that time because then, you know, I graduated from high school and then the questions come of like, am I going to be able to pay for this? That was always the question, you know, do I have enough money? And there were times where I was thinking, well, I can't do this because I need to finish school. Um, there's no way that I could do a mission. I'm just going to have to do school. And I remember one time I made that decision. I told my dad, I was talking to him. I'm like, dad, I don't know how I'm going to do this. And I was like, no, I'm just not going to go on a mission. I just, I'm going to keep doing school and I'm just going to get that done. And I'm just going to get married or, you know, whatever I had dreamed that I was going to do. And I just remember that day just feeling awful. I was just like, Oh, and I just kept having this worried feeling and I had prayed about it and I'd prayed again. And then I felt that overwhelming confirmation again that Heavenly Father wanted me to serve a mission. And I was the only one out of my sisters to serve because there was three of us besides me. So there was four of us. And there were hard times where after making that decision, I was like, okay, no, I'm just going to do this. And I went ahead for it. And I was saying, I don't know how I'm going to pay for this, but somehow it's going to work. And so I, you know, did as much school as I could. And then I decided to take a year off, um, and save money for it. And there were a few setbacks where I was planning, where I had wanted to leave earlier than I did. And I ended up, there was about a year from me stopping school from when I actually went on my mission. And I remember I had to wait five months to go. And that was a really hard time. But I just remember having the spirit there confirm to me again and again that this was what I was supposed to do, that Heavenly Father had people that were prepared for me. And that if I did, you know, if I was diligent, that I would be able to find those people. And there were so many times on my mission where I felt like I had known, like I knew that person. I was like, I've seen you before, and I know I've never seen you before because you're at the bottom of the world in Argentina. Like, there's no way. But I had felt a connection with them, and I knew that that was my convert. Because you feel different connections with different people, and I had felt that that one was for me because we had just connected like that, and things had worked out, and we were able to communicate on different levels. Um, so, yeah, so that was part of me deciding to do to go on a mission and it was the best thing I've ever done in my entire life.